In this video, we're going to see how we can install the JDK onto a Mac. So here we can see I've got a brand new, fresh install, a brand new Mac. And if I go up to the Apple menu to about this Mac, then you can see here that I'm using MacOS Catalina, which is one of the latest versions of Mac that you can get with MacOS Big Sur being the very latest one. And you can see here there's a version identifier 10.15.7. So we'll remember that we'll need that in a second. But if I just come out of here and if I go into a terminal session, so if I go down to here, terminal. Now a nice thing about the Mac is if I try and execute Java just by typing Java and hitting enter, then it says no Java runtime and present requesting install. And it actually goes off and it invites us to get more info. So if we click this more info button here, it takes us to the Oracle website from which we can download the JDK from. So we just accept cookies here. And here we can see we're on the main download page, which enables us to download all the different versions of the JDK. The first one it's showing us is Java SE 16, which is the very latest and greatest version. Um, we're not going to use that in this course. We want to have Java SE 8 instead. So if we scroll down, and the reason is, by the way, because it's much better for beginners to get started with. So now we can see we've got this Java SE8 version here. So just hop on over to this JDK download link and just click that. And I'm happy to just stay on the same oracle.com website. I don't need a, a more local version. That's fine. So now if we just scroll down, then we'll see all of the different versions of version 8 of the JDK, which we could download for all the different operating systems. So here we can see we've got versions for Linux, uh, Mac, Solaris, and Windows. You can't see Windows, but it, it will be down here. And we've got Mac platform here. So there's only one you can download for Mac, which is useful. So it's Mac OS X64, which means the 64-bit version. Just go over here and then just click this link. And then we're just going to say we agree to the license terms and hit download. And at this point, it'll redirect us to sign in with our Oracle account. Now that's a bit of a disadvantage, I guess, of Oracle, Mr. Father, they want you to sign up to be able to access the download, but it's completely free to do so. So if you haven't done so already, just go to this create account button here, create an Oracle account with a username and password, and then you'll be able to access any of the Java downloads you might need in the future. But I've already got an account, so I'll just enter my details here, and my password, and then I'll hit sign in. And then this is just saying, do we want Safari to allow downloads? Yes, we do. That's, that's the point. And we can see now it's downloading over here. So if we just click that, we can see it's downloading JDK 8 update 291. And then when that progress bar is finished, then we should be able to install it. So now I'll just click that. And now I can just close this, close, and close terminal as well. And you'll see it's then presenting us with this package. So just double click that. This is the installer. And here we can see we're at the install wizard. So usual thing, we're going to continue through these and click install. You need almost half a gig, sorry, rather just over half a gig of space to install. So just bear that in mind, type in your username and password, and then it's doing the install. Okay, and just close now, it's finished. And you can keep that if you like. I like to keep them around. If you keep the install files around, it's nice because if you ever can't get a specific version back and you rely on it, it's nice just to have those lying around, I think. But that's up to you. So now if we just eject that. And so at this point, we've installed the JDK. 